Well, gentlemen, there's a lot to be grateful for tonight, isn't there? I mean, a win is a win is a win, and that was a much more impressive win than the previous one. Well, last it was Saturday. much more impressive played on Saturday, Bill, as you would expect from, from an Irish team playing at home uh, against better opposition. Um, you know, they got very nervy in the second half and hung on towards the end. Shay Given and Richard Dunn and McShane particularly, but defensively we were good. We were very, very good tonight. At a time when we needed a little bit of composure in the second half, whether we got nervy and started to fall back, fall back, fall back. Um, we're on the balance of play, I'd say probably just about deserved to win it. Just about, but only two cheers, is that what you're saying, John? Well, it was, it was, it was, very, it was very, very good defensively. Shay Given, when he had to make a save, made a save. Uh, Richard Dunn was outstanding, McShane was outstanding, our Finham was, 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 was excellent, uh, O'Shea was okay. I think it was mainly from a defensive point of view that we did it. Hunt gave us a bit of life when he came on the pitch. I saw that. So did Long. Long was okay, but Hunt gave us a, a bit of life. It wasn't, wasn't, wasn't much composure. We're never going to get much composure, but I think it's worth a run in, in the Irish team. Uh, but overall, when we needed to hold the ball the second half and really to steady it down, uh, we didn't do so and hung on towards the end. But it's a win. I'd say you'll be delighted, Liam, to note that the fear was gone tonight, really, wasn't it? Well, there was. There was spirit there, the work rate was there, the goal gave us confidence uh, in the first half. There was a certain amount of belief there. Uh, I thought we played some really nice football in the first half. Got Damien Duff on the ball a lot of the time, and uh, we played very, very well. As John says, second half we came out, the Slovaks lifted it a bit, they played very well. But the back four held strong, and uh, Richard Dunn and McShane in the centre made some great blocks, great last-ditch tackles, and given in the end made a save that, that uh, kept the result. You know, deserved on our first, first half performance, miles better than it was on Saturday, and something to build on. Well, I'd have to ask, <coughs> why did Given have to make the great save near the end? The big sub that came on missed from six yards. Uh, completely open goal. The back four, Dunn and McShane, were heroic we, in the centre of the defence. We didn't play at all in the second half. We didn't pass the ball. We didn't have control of the football in the second half. And we should have done to go on and, and get the second So in other words, by not playing, we were helping them to create chances. Is that well, what the fact is, if you don't have the football, then you're going to be defending. And we spent most of the... We hardly got in their box twice long when he came on at two chances. That was it in the whole second half in terms of attacking play. So on the balance, what <coughs> has happened in the last two matches here is that Steve Staunton has definitely dodged a bullet, uh, two bullets. Uh, this stuff about four matches on the trot, two of them are against San Marino, one of them are against Wales, and the one tonight. So that's just a statistic. But, but, just a moment. Sorry. Just a moment. <laughs> it, it was good and satisfying. I enjoyed that tonight yeah. because so many good young players came out and played. Doyle, for a start, great attitude, got a very good goal, and that's what set the tone for the night in terms of confidence until halftime. In the second half, we didn't get hold of the ball and play with confidence. We didn't pose any attacking threat, so we retreated. In retreat, we fought uh, defiantly and defended well. Uh, Hunt coming on, Long coming on, Doyle, uh, you know, these are young lads, three of them from the country. Uh, we have Stephen Ireland, who's from Cork. Yeah. And so the game is growing in Ireland, around the country, and here we begin to see something to really get excited about and to be very pleased about. That's what I, I took from tonight, and I'm really happy, so, so I, despite, I, 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 the fact, despite the fact that I don't think this is the right coach, and I don't think that team was set up properly, I, there are good reasons for optimism. All right, let's say, let's uh, look at that, lads. Good reasons for optimism. We, well, a lot we were of good, young, the lot of good young players. I over. thought Ireland was particularly good in the first half. He's obviously not right, totally yeah. right physically, because he had to come off again there, there tonight. I think he's got something wrong with his groin. But he looks an intelligent player, he's quick, he's composed, Doyle can score a goal, you put Robbie Keane back in with those, uh, with those two lads, uh, Hunt, as, as, as we all said, adds a little bit, McShane and Dunn at the back, I think we've got, we got something we got to build on, no, it's like I said, right? we've got something to build on after tonight, and we're still attitude. in the group, we're still in the group. Yeah, John? I would, I would, I would agree with that, the young players coming on, Bill, but I think you would have to go back to to the, to the start, again, getting them and getting the best from them and getting them in the right positions. It was a spirited performance tonight, there's no doubt, and I'm only repeating myself now, 
and, and defended extremely well. But at a time in the second half, when you needed somebody, and I'm being critical now, in the middle of the field, because there's only one way to relieve the pressure when you're under pressure, that's to get on the ball in the middle of the field and get the flow of the play going to the other end of the field. And I thought we got nervy at that particular uh, uh, part of the game. Yeah. But um, a good win, and I would agree with the lads. Room for optimism, particularly with the young lads coming on. Right, we've got to take a break, uh, but we'll be back with more reaction and analysis in just a few minutes, so stay with us. Welcome back. Ireland won, Slovakia nil, four wins on the trot for Ireland. The man of the match, Richard Donny, is talking out to Tony O'Donoghue. Richard Donny, terrific result. How does that feel? It's great. It's been, um, it's been a good week, you know. We've, um, we've trained really hard. We've stuck together and we've got the six points that we came to get, you know. So we go into a decent break now and come back in September in a good position in the group. Defensively, solid, yourself and Paul McShane in particular? Yeah, Paul's, Paul's done brilliant over the, the few days, you know, his, uh, his performance since he got on the team have been outstanding. And um, I think um, we complement each, each other well, you know, we both like to get stuck in and we both um, challenge for everything, you know, so it's, uh, today everything worked out and we got most of them. Now, you were bringing the wingers into the play as well. How important was the with Ireland show tonight? That's it. I mean, Stan was saying yesterday that's, that's why he put Aidan and Damien in the team. You know, they're both there to get the ball too early and make sure they attack the fullback. So that was the plan from the start. And early on, we, we done it well and then um, we got on top and uh, we got the goal and then they got back into it. But I think overall, you know, the, uh, the first half performance um, was what set us well. The senior players like yourself yesterday showed. Great support for the manager in yesterday's press conference. That was a way to answer the critics tonight as well. Do you think? Yeah, it's not. It's not about answering the critics. You know, it's um, we believe in Stan. We've uh, we train with him every day, and we know we know what he wants. Um, some people have different views on him. As a, as a squad, we all stand by him. You know, we all we all live and die by results. You know, and um, the last four four games we've won. So at the moment. Um, Probably not playing the best football, but we're picking up points, you know, so that's that's the important thing. And I mean, we're always going to stick together. It doesn't matter if we want everyone behind us, we want the support of the country. And I mean, when, when we're not playing so well, we, we need it even more, you know, so uh, tonight's crowd was brilliant. Well, your performance tonight made you the Aircom man of the match, so congratulations. Thanks, Corey Corkley from Aircom will give you your trophy. Well done, Richard. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Well done, Richard, indeed. He's a, an underrated player in your judgment, isn't he? Well, I think he's been outstanding for Manchester City this season. Um, he, there's one lapse in concentration in, in each game, one tonight, one against Bellamy on Saturday. But he's got pace, he's a brilliant attitude, I think he's a really good character. He shows leadership, he's not afraid of the game, he's not afraid of the ball at his feet. Uh, I, think he's a, I think he's a terrific pro, and I think in this new team, if we get off the ground, he'll be a, a huge character in the team. I think he's a very big, big guy and I think he'll get better because defenders centre do get better as they get older and I'm, I'm pleased for him. And I, well, that's the way he responded there to the questions. He said it's not about... Honest, wasn't it? Well, yeah, he said it's not about answering the critics, it's about actually getting points on the board and getting on with your business. And fair play to him. I think he's a great young fellow. I think a lot of those young players are really terrific people. And they have had stick, you know, and you know we've been part of it. But our stick is, well, my stick has been aimed at a particular way the team is run. But you can't take from the character of the Irish players, okay. and it's always been like that as ever, as long as I can ever remember. They've always been great. Mm. All right, let's look at the character Dono in the context of yeah. the Irish defence. Well, Irish Ireland really defended well in the second half, and they had to defend well. McShane was magnificent, and Dunn was too. When this move develops, you'll see Dunn. Uh, do well, position himself well, and he gets his header down. Now, he gets it down to someone, picks it up, and we're out of trouble. Watch for McShane in this clip, uh, this series of, of uh, Slovak attacks. Uh, he really is outstanding. Watch this tackle. Woof. Throws himself in, perfectly timed, uh, and the danger is averted. It's a really great tackle. Now, he doesn't have, he's not huge, he doesn't have presence. Here again, we see. Uh, it's not like they had an awful lot of ball in the second half. Uh, but again, I think this time 
It's uh, Finnan. It's Finnan who comes across there, but that's a great piece of defending. Just needs the slightest mm -hmm. touch, and it's in the back of the net. Of course, we know that Che Given will always be there uh, right. as a last uh, mm -hmm. resort. Has Matt Shane the potential to go all the way to the top, in your judgment, John? Well, he's playing in international football at the moment, Bill, and. Uh, you know, I, I think sometimes it might be he's actually playing international football rather than he's playing in the first division where it might, might be a lot of high, more, lot more high balls coming in and he, he's a little bit sharper. He's, he's, I think he's a good player and he could well go the other way because he's got the attitude, Bill. And attitude is a big thing, as, as we know, in any sport. He's, he's really game, lad. And that's real defending tonight. I mean, the, 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 the incident that Eamon showed there was highlighted. I mean, you wouldn't see Rio Ferdinand doing that, for no, example. No, he wouldn't. You know, but he won't look as good a player as he never look as good a player as Rio Ferdinand. But when it really matters, Richard Dunn and himself and Finnan, and to a lesser extent, John O'Shea, when it really matters about defending, they were there to do it. Well, he was thrown in at the deep end against the Czech Republic after the Cypriot result, and he re responded to that. Uh, a lot of people, well, quite a few people said he should have maybe done better on the Kohler goal, but, you know, for the lad coming in for his... You know, one of his f first caps I thought he was tremendous and he's just built on that now and he's a first pick and that's a partnership without yeah. any doubt it's a partnership okay let's have a look now at the, the, the Irish chances because there's an argument to, to advance that Ireland could have won the match about 3-1 well we got very not little respite Bill we got very little respite but Long had a couple of great chances this one I suppose you couldn't ask him to do much more got over the top of the ball and it was Gresco who kicks the ball off the line it's a good pass out from the back from Dunn. And Hunt always gives you something. And this is a great ball in for Shane Long. And Long, when he goes home tonight, he's sitting in his hotel room. And he sees that. He'll be disgusted that he hasn't opened his account up for Ireland. But as I said, Hunt, he started off the match poorly when he came on. He lost first, first three or four balls. But he is effective. That was Aidan McEddy. That was. Is he up there who should start? Well, you know, he's a player for the future. I'm not too sure whether um, Steve Staunton will throw him in just yet, but there's a case for it. I think he gives you more going forward than Kevin Kilban does on that left wing. I would, I would have him in. Would you? I would, yeah. Mm, okay. Yeah, instead of Kevin Kilban. I mean, Kevin yeah. Kilban's playing inside tonight, but, it, but it, we said before the match, he doesn't have to play there. Yeah. I mean, if, if and when Robbie Keane is fit, you, you know, young Ireland could drop into there and, and, and it would release... Uh, Hunt. Hunt to come in on the yeah. left side. I think he produces more and, and gives more than. than 80 caps back. tonight, John, to uh, Shea Given. Yeah. Let's have a look at his performance. Well deserved. Well, he didn't have that much to do, uh, Bill. But what he, what he had to do was very, very important. That's, that's the, the mark of a good goalkeeper. You know, this was, this, this was a, a match saver. You know, he's come out. It's, a, it's, it's instinctive, there's no doubt about that. But he does get himself in the right position to give himself the best chance. And he's caught it with his hand uh, to do it. That was obviously. A he's a fantastic anchor, isn't he, for the whole team? Well, he's a top-class goalkeeper, Shaggy, and has been for for a few years now. He's been our best player for the most influential player over the last few years. And like all goalkeepers, Bill and centre halves, they really come onto their best when they're about 28, 29, 30, 31. And I think Shag given is at what the, the end. Play, and playing plenty of games has helped him build. But, yeah, but what about not, the argument that Roy Keane well, advances? That, 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 that you have to blood in other I don't think it should be no, I don't think we should introduce that. Yeah. All right. Okay. I couldn't, I couldn't possibly <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> the only point I'm making is like, if you, don't, if you have a substitute goal, say he's injured and you have nobody with international experience, are you cutting off your nose? Yeah, but they're playing the in top-class football every week. Bill, That's the know. manager's decision yeah. to pick the team. Shea yeah, Gibbon doesn't say, pick me, or, I, I have to be picked. All right. Okay, Liam, let's look at <laughs> Don't be getting cross. Well, <laughs> I don't think it's not not with you. I'm getting cross with Roy <laughs> Keane. Bill. Yeah, yeah. Look at Bidex chance. <laughs> well, you know, they, they, they huffed and they puffed a little bit. Ireland held strong. This was a... Uh, Half chance. Yeah, it? half chance. You know, uh, he was a dangerous player all evening, Vidic. He hit a very good shot in the first half that Given was equal to. Um, I thought the Slovaks played very well till they got up around the box, but because of the Irish defending, they just couldn't break mm. uh, break us down. All right, let's uh, celebrate that magnificent goal of Doyle's 12 minutes uh, into the game, John. Yeah, it was a great goal, Bill. It was a great header. Um, you know, I was saying early on, and we, we see it from from behind the thing. Most people would give a free kick. There. And when we see it from a certain angle, he actually comes in front of the player to get the header and how he got the power in it, I don't know. Because most players going for that ball would have to brush the player out of the way in front of him and give a free kick away. You might see it from this angle. Well, she comes around the front of him, 
gets a clean header on the ball without making hardly any contact with the defender. And that, that's a top, that's as good a header as you'll see anywhere. OK. We can hear from uh, Kevin, uh, uh, Kevin Doyle now. He's talking to Tony O'Donoghue. Kevin Doyle, a goal into the Hill 16 end, something you've been dreaming of? Yeah, it was, uh, you know, it was a great feeling. Didn't see it hit the net, unfortunately. I was on the ground on my back, I think, and uh, just heard the roar, obviously, and knew it had gone in, and um, it's a great feeling. Um, to score in any game, even in training, but to score in Crow Park in front of 70-odd thousand, it was uh, something I won't forget. Hugely different atmosphere and uh, hugely different game tonight, really, to Saturday. Yeah, it was, you know. I think it was where we played. We were really up and at them from the start, and uh, we played some good football tonight, I think. Um, you know, uh, I'm going to say that because I was on the pitch, but um, it seemed like we played good football and uh, I think we deserved a victory. Now, the manager faced a lot of criticism, despite the fact that this is now the fourth win in a row. Do you think that criticism might end now? I don't know, you know, I'm not in the press. Um, it should do. Um, you know, we don't have a proper qualifying game now until I think maybe next September, so we've given ourselves a bit of breathing space. Um, you know, if we can keep playing like we did tonight especially, I think we... You know, we can't afford to slip up again, especially at home. And, uh, you know, we have to keep playing like that if we have to, any chance of qualifying. Now, the other Reading lads uh, came on and made an impact like yourself. So the performance of Stephen Hunt and Shane Long? Yeah, you know, Huntley put in a great, two great balls, actually. Longy, the first one's great header, and I think the keeper saved it. I couldn't really see. And the second one, he was unlucky. I think it just glanced wide. Um, you know, they're like that. You know, they come on and always make impacts. Huntley's been doing it all season, and Longy as well. Is this your best moment in football? <laughs> I don't know, it's up there with one of them, definitely, you know, scoring for your, your country and winning 1-0 um, in a pressure game. It's a, it's a great feeling and uh, it's up there with the best of them, definitely. Well, thanks for joining us, Kevin. Cheers, Tony, thanks. It's actually terrific to see them, isn't it? Yeah, they're brilliant. I mean, these are, like, the game has grown around Ireland since the Jack Charlton phenomenon, you know, and uh, he's from Wexford, uh, Kevin, and, uh, you know, Young Ireland's from Cove, uh, and the other lad's from uh, Hunt is from... Uh, either Leash or Waterford. Yeah. Leash in the programme, but I think it might be Waterford. And uh, Long is from Tipperary, and apparently it was According to Babs, a huge loss to Hurling in Tipperary. Yeah. And then you have Shay Given, who's from Donegal. Young uh, McShane, John O'Shea. John O'Shea, O'Shea and Young McShane is a Wicklow man. And a, a typical. They're not Wicklow picking man. any Dubliners anymore. Yeah. 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 It's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't it change? It's a lot that about the development of the game, though. It does. Man. And it also the character of these young players. I think England, if you look at it, would die for them. I think any country would die for young players with great modesty and character yeah. that we've got and it, that's the great thing that's come out of these two games, of games. right right and, and in, in a wonderful arena yeah we're going to leave us there for the moment when we come back we'll have news from all the other qualifying actions around Europe and of course Steve Staunton Welcome back. Let me remind all the fans of the uh, Heineken Cup Roadshow with Hook and Pope that it's 15 minutes later than usual tonight because of the fact that the match was 15 minutes late. So after this programme, 15 minutes later than originally scheduled, you can watch it and I'm sure enjoy it hugely. Right, let's return now to soccer and let's get the reaction of the Ireland team manager, Steve Staunton, talking to Tony O'Donoghue. Stephen, congratulations. Four wins now on the spin and that doesn't happen too often in international football, whatever the opposition. Yeah, delighted. Uh, pleasing again, clean sheet. Um, got the goal, great goal. Uh, got across the defender very well. Good header. Uh, nice to have him back. Now, Richard Dunn was named the man of the match. He marshaled the defence superbly, and your back five really did the business for you. Well, that's it. You know, uh, I think them, th that back five have kept, what, three or four clean sheets now. Excellent defensively. Uh, I thought we'd done better with the ball, but we can improve on that again. Uh, first half, the boys played with a lot of pride and passion. Uh, they shifted the ball quickly, like we know they can. I think playing in the evening time helped. And you heard the crowd. It was magnificent. The supporters were brilliant. The team responded and uh, fully deserved one. It was such a contrast in so many ways to, to Saturday, wasn't it? No, they were about 1-0. <laughs> no, it was, uh, yeah, I, I mean, the, the boys went out there. They knew they were up against a very good side. Um, <clears throat> the pace they broke at us, but I thought we matched them. We've got some wonderful young talent coming through, and they showed that, especially in the first half. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, one day improve, we'll get better as well. Big game from Damien Duff, especially first half. On the left, he looked comfortable and he really made an impact there for you. Yeah, well, you know, Damien can do that. He's only coming back, really, the last few weeks after injury. We know what Damien can do, and uh, he done it. 
he has worked his socks off for me ever since I got the job. And that's one sure thing you'll get from Damien Duff. He will work his socks off. And he created some great chances. Unfortunately, we didn't put them away. The substitutions worked for you as well, forced to an extent with Stevie Ireland's injury, but uh, Stephen Hunt and Shane Long did particularly no, well. Stevie wasn't injured. Stevie wasn't injured. Just felt he was getting tired. And uh, as regards Doyle, you know, first, first game for, I don't know, how long. And uh, I thought he worked his socks off. Just felt it was right to bring Longy on. Unfortunately, you know, he was very unlucky. He could have scored a couple himself. On a personal level, how do you feel now? Because you've, you've faced some criticism from the media, uh, some of it unfair. Only some. Only some, yeah. Um, but after these four wins and a break now till, till September in the next competitive game, you must feel some sense of vindication. No. Look, all I said was we have to give ourselves a chance in this group. And to do that, we had to win these two home games. A lot of pressure on the lads. I thought they've handled it very, very well. One to two games, two clean sheets. What more can you ask for? Thanks very much for talking as well, Thank you. I'd say a pretty relieved man, and uh, rightly so. Now, he talked about uh, being better on the ball, better tempo, having pride and passion. Our next two games are away, Slovakia and the Czech Republic. What do you reckon, Liam? Well, I think the Slovakians showed tonight that they're not, not an easy team to play against. They've got some very good attacking players, and uh, it's going to be tough to get anything from that match. But at least this is something we can build on, as I've already said. And we've talked about the young players. I don't think they're going to go to Bratislava and, and, and uh, uh, f feel pressure. I think they're, they'll be up for it. So I think we can now look forward with some optimism that we can get something from the next game and the one after that was the Czech Republic away. OK, do you share the optimism we might have for the two away games? Um, I wouldn't be as optimistic as Liam because what, what we're looking for is continuity. Yeah, we want to decide to be improving all the time. And, you know, I'd, I'd like to see more uh, consistency in the way the team is playing and the way the team is picked. I think it was a good win tonight. Certainly the young players would give me optimism for the yeah. future. Uh, and hopefully we'll, we'll, we'll go and do the stuff in Slovakia. Yeah, I mean, we have to find out what's our best team. Uh, and we have to have a structure that we can recognise. Uh, it's lurching a bit at the moment, a lot actually. And. Um, I would it's hard to argue with four wins, though, Well, I'm it? prepared to uh, argue with four wins, um, because two of them were against San Marino. We saw Wales on Saturday. Uh, they're good wins, but performance is everything, Bill, and continuity, as John said, over 90 minutes. I, look, no one here wants to see Ireland do anything other than prosper. The issue is, can you see it? We've given you the evidence for... Uh, uh, for optimism, there, but there is also some cause for concern that we don't know what our best team is uh, and neither do the players. But it's been a good night tonight because it's yeah. shown yeah. top. Yeah. yeah, just one final point from you, Liam. You talked the other day that you couldn't see any progress. Did you see progress tonight? Yeah, I thought it was purpose and belief and, and a lot of work, a lot of spirit about the side. And if they can carry that on, who knows, they might just rescue the group. But I, I'm, I, I share Eamon's caution. All right, okay. Well, my thanks to John, to Liam and to Eamon for their company tonight. So the soccer team has succeeded where the rugby team failed and made it two wins out of two in Croke Park. And have put themselves in with the chance of going to the Euro 2008 finals. Who would have thought it? Good night from all of us. Bye-bye.